hello guys welcome back to the channel and if we try to complete this lab using a short tree so the score won't update and because of that we have to complete this lab as per the lab instruction so i request you please watch the video carefully because i'm going to explain each and every point of this lab in detail i request you first of all watch the video then pause the video complete your task and then again continue with the video because if you miss one single point on this particular lab then you will get an error and because of that you are not able to complete this lab on your first attempt so first of all just simply log in with your credentials like this way and once you're done with that then just simply click on this explore option and then just simply click on this order items over here like this way now just me come back over here and click on the task number one now we are going to complete this particular task okay so first of all what you do you have to just me copy this name called cost over here from the point number four copy like this come back over here and just me search over here like this way now here you can see inventory item just simply hover over here and you can see this three dot just simply click over here then just simply choose aggregate and from here just simply choose average like this way so you have done with all this portion okay now what you do we have to do the same thing but using a custom block okay you can see custom field we have to create that so just me scroll down over here from here just me copy this name over here copy like this come back over here and then just me click on this cross over here now here you can see custom field then just me click on this add over here and from here just me choose custom measure over here this second one okay now just me choose over here like this way and here you can see in the inventory item just me choose that make sure that you have to choose the field of the inventory item okay now for the major type it must be the average over here like this way and for the name just simply choose this name over here like this way and then just me come back over here and just me choose that like this way and then just me click on this fields over here and from here just me choose a us dollar and the decimal it must be the make sure that your dashboard must look like this if it's so then only just me click on this save over here like this way so you are done with both the part okay we have done with all this portion now what you do we have to create a custom grouping okay now just me scroll down now from the point number two you can see this name product name so just me copy that come back over here and just me search over here like this way then just me click on this name over here like this way so as you can see inventory item product name so we have done with the point number two now what you do we have to create a filter so just me copy this name called country copy like this come back over here and again just me search over here like this way now here you can see if you just me hover over here you can see these three lines just me click over here and in the filter option it's come up now what you do it's equal to usa like this way okay make sure that you have to type usa over here like this way now we are done with the point number three also now what you do we have to again create a group so just me copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here and just me search over here like this way now if you just me hover over here then just me click on this three dot and from here just me choose a group over here so it's done now what you do just me scroll down and from here just me copy this name carefully copy like this space store here like this way now just me click on this is any value like this way now for the any value what you do just me copy this name first of all paste over here like this way then copy the second name paste over here then copy this third name and paste over here like this way then just me click on this checkbox over here like this way and make sure that your dashboard must look like this if it's so then just me click on this save over here and it's done so we are done with all this part okay now what you do just me scroll down and from the task number three point number two you can see we have to again create one filter but what filter we have to create you can see this average cost so what you do come back over here and here you can see this second option this average cost second option then just me click on this three lines over here like this way now you can see this is equal to from here you have to just me choose to is greater than you can see is greater than okay and for the value you have to just me type 200 over here like this way once you're done with all these things you are done with the task number three now if you just me click on this run over here you will get output now just me wait for this data get load 
and as you can see it's done now just simply cross verify this result with your if you find any kind of changes over here that means you have made a mistake that time what you do you have to just simply refresh the page and again just simply continue with the video okay now if you just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue but if you are not able to get a score on your first rep the way i am getting this kind of error no need to worry about that just simply wait for a couple of minutes keep hitting on the check my progress you will get a score for sure okay meanwhile what you will do we will continue with the task number four task number four is very easy what you do you have to just simply copy this name over here copy this order count copy like this come back over here and just simply search over here then just simply click on this name over here and here you can see order item order count just simply click on this gear icon then just simply choose a calculation and from here just simply choose percentage of column this one just simply choose that again just simply click on this run and now just simply wait for this data get load and it's done now if you just come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue again i am saying as you can see i am getting this kind of error no need to worry about that just simply keep hitting on the check my progress you will get a green tick on both the tasks without any issue it might take a couple of minutes to update the score so no need to worry about that so as you can see we got a score on the task number three after a couple of time okay now if i just scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a green tick over here also without any issue just simply keep hitting on the check my progress And as I said, after a couple of minutes, we will get a green tick over here. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.